There are a lot of questions always about cleaning up line art. And it's easy to say, well, just use the magic wand tool and it'll select the white and press the lead on your keyboard and etc. But oftentimes you're going to have some line art that has a lot of small fine lines. And you're going to need a levels adjustment layer to help clean that up. And that's awfully difficult to explain in writing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now I'm using Photoshop Elements 9. We're just going to be using the basic kinds of things, the layers panel, a levels adjustment layer, the magic wand tool, the magnifying glass, and the paint bucket. If you have Paint Shop Pro, if you have Photo Plus, if you have any kind of decent photo editing program, paint.net, uh, GIMP, you can do this with those programs. Your tools and things, dialogues are going to be in slightly different places, but they will be there because we're just using basic kinds of things. Now, first thing you want to do, I'm going to do the kitty first. He doesn't have, he's a, a clip art. He doesn't have any fine lines for shading or anything, so it's going to be fairly easy to show this technique. The very first thing you ever want to do, especially if you download line art, is to check the mode. So in Photoshop and Paint Shop, in Photoshop and in Photoshop Elements, you click on Image Mode and look under RGB and it's check mark. So that's fine. In a minute, we're going to do an example where that's not so fine. Next thing you do, you never want to work on the background layer because it has this lock and you can't do some things to it. So I always just click and drag it down here to the new layer icon. The other thing you can do is right click, layer from background, click OK on the dialog and you're done. Now we want to add a levels adjustment layer. You'll also find levels in any of the menus where you adjust lighting. Okay, there it is there. Now why can't we use this one? Because you use it and you click OK and it's gone. We need the Levels Adjustment layer and all those photo editing programs that I just mentioned have Levels Adjustment layers uh, because after you've finished and you've deleted the white background you may want to adjust the lines and this Levels does not disappear like the other Levels does when you click OK. There's no OK on this one. It's just always there. Next thing we want to do is see our lines up close and personal. So click on the magnifying glass. Come down here. You notice these are raster lines, so they're bumpy edged because raster images are made up of little rectangular pixels. And pixels are, or rectangles have corners and the corners stick out on curves. You'll also notice that the edge has a lot of gray in them. And if we select with that gray in there, sometimes there are problems. We want to get rid of some of that gray. We have our levels adjustment layer right here. This box, if you open a photo, if you open this in a photograph, you'll have a big graph-like looking thing here. We don't care about what's in the box for right now because we're going to use these little triangles. On the left, there's a black triangle. That's the black point. On the right, there's a white triangle. That's the right point, and that's very important for what we're about to do here. And in the middle is this gray triangle, which is for gamma or contrast. Very first thing you do is you click and drag on the white triangle. See, it moves. And look at your picture. As you do that, those light gray pixels disappear. Okay, can you see them? Also, your lines change shape. So you don't want to do too much of this because it makes your lines even bumpier than they were before. But you want to get rid of the lightest gray pixels. Then you can move this middle one back and it kind of fills things out again. Notice. Now I've moved it right on top. It can't go past the white one. But it can go to the white one. The black one in this case, you really don't have to mess with it all, the black triangle. Now come back up to your layers panel, click on your image to highlight it, get the magic wand tool, have it set on add or add to selection or new tolerance. I have it low because we're just getting rid of white. 
Anti-alias, which means make your lines as smooth as can be, yes. And then I just click. Then what you do is go on your keyboard and click delete. And on your keyboard, press on control, hold it down, and press D. That gets rid of the marching ants, the selection. Now, on your keyboard, press control again and press your new layer icon. And your new layer will be below your image layer. Make sure white is the foreground color at the bottom of your toolbox. Click on the paint bucket tool. Click. View. Get on screen. There's our kitty. Now I think kitty's lines are a little too light. This is where having a levels adjustment layer is good. Click on it again to bring it up. Move the white line back. And look, you can you have control over these lines. The gray one is behind the white one. You don't see it. Just click right there and it appears again. And you can move that gray one around too. And that's a little light from a little dark for me. There you go. Okay, and there's Kitty. Now we have to save Kitty. How do we do that? Back to your layers panel. First of all, click and drag this white layer to the trash can. You don't want to accidentally save it. Next, right click on the levels adjustment if you don't want to adjust it anymore. And click on merge down. File. Save as. I'm just going to call this one um, Kitty LA, and I've already got one there, so I'll just call it Kitty LA2. And format CompuServe GIF and save. Now you get this dialog. You don't have to worry about anything except right here where it says transparency right there. Make sure it's check marked. Click OK. Same thing with the options. Just click OK. And Kitty is now saved. OK. And now we can delete Kitty or close Kitty. And no, we don't want to. OK. Now, next one I want to do is the rows. Same thing. We don't want to work on the background layer. Oh. Very first thing, check the mode. Make sure it's RGB and RGB is check marked. We want to right click, layer from background, OK. We want to take our little magnifying glass and we want to look at our lines. Now, the problem with the rows is, let me go back a little bit, you can see it. There are a lot of pencil marks left in here. This pencil sketch was inked over and as you can see right in here there are a lot of pencil marks, a lot of light gray smudgy places that we want to get rid of. So we're going to take our half moon icon levels adjustment layer and we want to move this white one until those pencil marks are gone. And we don't want to make the lines disappear. Okay, move the gray one so lines come back in. Now we can move the black one, but it just darkens those lines. We may not want them darker. Okay, yeah, there's one right there. Let's, uh, there we go. There we be. Okay, click on the correct layer, get the magic wand tool. Select. You can see where there's still a lot of light gray ones in there. Okay. Let's move that one up. Okay. Magic wand tool. Click in here. Now, there we go. And press delete on your keyboard. Whoops. Wrong one. Make sure you're working on the right layer. Press the lead on your keyboard, control D to get rid of the selection, hold down control, new layer, paint bucket, fill it in, view, fit on screen. And you can see our lines are a little light. Once again, the levels will come to our 
There we go. I want to see. There. I don't want it, you know, a rose is a delicate thing, so you know, I don't want big I don't want big clunky lines in it. So that's about as good as our rose is gonna get. Once again, we want to save it, drag the white layer to the trash can, right click on the adjustment layer, merge down, file, save as rose to Format is CompuServe GIF. Save. Transparency is check mark. Okay, okay. And the rose is saved. Close the rose. Nope. Now the only thing we have left is this bird with all the fine lines and shading. With the technique we're using, it really won't be a problem. But here's the problem check its mode. Go down to mode and you'll notice it's grayscale. The first time I was, when I was practicing this before I actually was recording it, I saved, you know, I did everything. I got the background transparent. I saved it as a GIF and every time I opened it, it had a white background. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. So, okay, check the mode and it was grayscale. The mode has to be RGB. So just come down here and check mark it. That's all you have to do to change it. Once again, background to new layer icon. That real lock background to the trash can, and now we have a background to work on, or right click and layer from background. We want to take the magnifying glass. We want to look at these, and once again, look at all of the little light gray pixels that are in an area which should be white. I have to get rid of those. Let's open a levels adjustment layer. We want to now these lines are fine so we want to preserve those lines that shading so we just want to move the white point the white triangle up you can see how we can get rid of a lot of that gray okay move that down to darken the lines just a little bit okay we have to be more delicate with this guy magic wand tool Make sure you're working on the right layer. Delete. Control and D on your keyboard to get rid of the selection. Control and the new layer icon. Paint bucket tool. Fill it in. View. Get on screen and there's our bird. See how nicely that happens? And there it is. There's a bird we can paint on. That's what it looks like. Let's save it. Drag, whoops, I keep thinking it should be down there. Drag the white layer. Right click on the levels layer. Merge down. File. Save as. Hawk LA2. Format is CompuServe GIF. Save. Transparency is check marked. Okay, and the bird is done. Now, you want to use these. You're going to open them. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my file. I'm going to find, what should I do? Hawk, should we use the hawk? Okay. Well, let's use the rose. Okay, we open it. It's transparent. We want to use it. We want to make paintings. And look, we can't do anything. It's like everything is locked up. We can't even make a, a new layer here to paint on. Everything's gray. Nothing is active. What? Because it's an indexed layer. Okay? That's its mode, is indexed. So we have to come up here to the image mode. And check mark RGB and voila, everything becomes active again. You have to do that. Hold down control. Now you've got a layer to paint on. Let's say uh, leaf veins. I tend to put all my colors on all kinds of separate layers. And then I'd have next one I do 
well get out of there the next one I do leaf uh, shadowing and the next one I would do uh, general leaf a leaf and then I'd start doing petals, petal shadowing, whatever, stem. I always, when I do painting, I always have a lot of different layers. And there's a reason for that. Because if you get one, if you paint, let's say I paint the petals in really nice and I start shadowing and I mess up. If I go to a race or some way get rid of where I messed up, I erase the other paint too. And I don't want to have to redo that. So it's best to have, you know, even if, if you have to use 40 layers, it's best to use a separate layer for each uh, color of paint or for each area of a painting that you're doing. Okay, well, I hope this helps you. I hope you have a lot of fun doing your painting now that you can get your line art cleaned up and ready to paint. Have fun.